Washington. The ouster of Harvard's president has raised the threat of plagiarism, a cardinal sin in academia, coming to light as a possible new weapon in conservative attacks on higher education. Claudine Gay's resignation on Tuesday comes after weeks of mounting accusations that she used the language of other academics in her doctoral thesis and journal articles. The allegations emerged amid backlash to congressional testimony about anti-Semitism on campus. The allegations of plagiarism came not from academic colleagues but from his political enemies. Led by conservatives who sought to oust Gay and put career under intense scrutiny in the hope of finding a fatal flaw, his critics blamed Gay, who holds Ph.D. He worked in government, was a professor at Harvard and Stanford, and headed Harvard's largest department before his promotion. She got the top job largely because she was black woman. A passerby walks through the gates of the Harvard University campus. Tuesday. January 2, 2024, in Cambridge, Mass. Conservative activist Christopher Rufo, who helped organize the effort, celebrated her departure as a victory in his campaign against elite institutions of higher education. On his old Twitter, we'll be back in the fight tomorrow, he said, describing a playbook in X against institutions deemed too liberal by conservatives. Her end goal efforts to promote diversity, equity, and inclusion in education and business. We must not stop until we remove Dei ideology from every institution in America, he said. In another post, he announced a new plagiarism busting fund, promising to expose rot in the Ivy League and restore truth rather than racist ideology as highest principle of academic life. Gay did not directly. Address the plagiarism accusations in a campus letter announcing his resignation, but said he was troubled to see doubts arise about his commitment to maintaining academic rigor. She also indirectly nodded to the December congressional hearing that launched the onslaught of criticism, in which she did not unequivocally say that calls for genocide against Jews would violate Harvard policy. His departure comes just six months after he became Harvard's first black president. Presidents who are puppets of their universities often face intense scrutiny, and scores of leaders have been ousted by plagiarism scandals. The president of Stanford University resigned last year amid findings that he manipulated scientific data in his research. A president the University of South Carolina resigned in 2021 after removing part his commencement speech. In Gay's case, many academics were troubled by how the plagiarism came to light as part of a coordinated campaign to discredit Gay and force his ouster, in part because of his involvement in racial justice efforts on campus. His resignation follows calls for the ouster of prominent conservatives including Harvard graduate rep. Elise Stefanik and billionaire hedge fund manager Bill Ackman, who has Dona.